Hello and welcome to the Horn Baseball and Softball Academy here in Western Grove, Arkansas. Today we're going to take a quick minute to look at a situation on our Chalk Talk segment. I was at a high school game yesterday and we had a, saw a situation that came up that, you know, as a coach it kind of put something into me and said, you know, we need to do better at that. So here's the situation. We had a team that was playing... Home teams ahead 10 to 1 in the bottom of the fifth inning. They've got first two runners get on base. They've got first and third, nobody out. And the. So here's our situation. We've got home teams ahead 10 to 1 in the bottom of the fifth, no outs. They get their first two runners on base. First runner makes it all the way to third on a base hit. So we've got first and third. Nobody out. They send in a pinch hitter, which is fine. They give a kid a chance to hit. And he gets up there, and he looks for a walk. He takes five pitches. He works the count full. And then, on the next pitch, he swings at a fastball on the inside part of the plate and strikes out. Which, you know, as a hitting coach, is kind of wasted out. And then as a, the thing that hit me as a coach was, and he goes back to the dugout, the coach of the team doesn't even say anything to him. You know, that's a great teaching moment right there to pull the kid across and talk to him and give him the situation. So, well, as a hitting coach, we want to teach our kids the situation. Our whole topic here is situational hitting. Now, as a hitter, you're not always at the plate trying to get on base or work the count or get a hit. There's times when you give yourself up and sacrifice and put the ball in play. So, they've got one out now, first and third. Still, situation where ground ball scores a run, wins the game. Now, the infield is a double play depth. they got a fast kid in first base. At this time, the coach pitch runs and puts his two fast kids who haven't played yet in the game as runners, which is a good move. Now, the next batter does the same thing. He takes the count full. Without swinging the bat, he gets three balls and two strikes. On the next pitch, which is a pitch on the inside part of the plate, he swings and misses and strikes out. Now you've got two outs, first and third. You've got to get a base hit. A walk or a ground ball is not going to do it in this situation. The pitcher from the other team is a little bit cagey. He keeps working the inside part of the plate. Now, the next hitter comes up. And he hits a fly ball to center field, routine out. Which, with nobody out or one out, is great. It wins the game. But with two outs, you had to put the ball on the ground. You've got to try to hit the ball in the alley or get a ground ball base hit. So, our whole topic here is situational hitting. And our point is that as a hitter, you're not always going to play to get a hit or even get a walk. Sometimes you give yourself up and sacrifice for the team. Know the situation. Situation dictates the ground ball. Be able to put the ball in play. Fast ball on the outside part of the plate. Hit the ball. And then probably our last point on situational hitting is for the coaches. You know, as a hitting coach, in the programs where I've been, we've always tried to teach our hitters the situational hitting. Know what to do in the situation. And if you let a kid go to the plate in a situation and he does not do what he needs to do and then you don't teach him and correct him, then you're wasting an out. You're wasting a great opportunity as a teachable moment. So, baseball is a great sport because it gives us teachable moments. So, as a coach, Use these moments to make, make your players better. It'll help you out in the long run. So this has been Situational Hitting with Coach Horn here at the Horn Baseball and Softball Academy.